we're exposing ourselves to these things on a daily basis without even knowing that these are toxic things. So once we learn that the heavy metals, the DDT, and the radiation were environmental toxins that were you know, all around us, we, sit, we narrowed it down and said, okay, what products are we using just you know around the house here that might contain these things that we yeah. need to now get, get rid of, of. <laughs> or replace like what can we control yeah so things like that are colognes perfumes um scented candles scented candles those we just said get rid of them boom those are gone yeah. um body care products this is a big one right so like finding replacements for shampoo, conditioner, toothpaste, dental floss, makeup, um, lotion, lotion, sunscreen, deodorant, yep. um, for, after shave, after shave, first aid kit products, right? Like what the medicines that you're putting on your skin, spray tans, terrible, filled with chemicals, hair gel, hairspray. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nail polishes, um, and then we replaced like the laundry detergent, fabric softeners, or, you know, remove dryer sheets, do like wool balls instead, um, cleaning products, making sure you're removing the harsh chemical, uh, cleaning products, getting those replaced. Um, from like the kitchen standpoint, I guess, like if we move into the kitchen from like the bathroom, you know, and you yeah. start looking into... The stuff that you're doing in the kitchen, the stuff you're using in the kitchen. I mean, we eliminated our microwave immediately. <laughs> that happened long before yeah. we even we even got on the medical medium. Um, we use a toaster oven instead. No aluminum foil, so instead of aluminum foil, we're using like parchment paper. Um, yeah. More aware of not buying things that contained metal. So like, if we were buying you know, coconut water, we'd not buy the coconut water in a can, we would buy it in a glass jar or a carton. Ins instead. Um, a lot of our cooking, uh, cooking dishes, they contained um, different types of metal, right? But we eliminated the ones that were the nonstick because the nonstick stuff contained plastics. So we eliminated yeah. that. No nonstick cookware. <clears throat> yeah. um, we eliminated like I got a bunch of like glass containers to store food like leftovers in you know we still have some like non BPA plastic ones for travel but we try to stick to the glass containers for storing to avoid that plastic contamination you know, we basically went through the house <laughs> and said like See okay ya. goodbye to all these things and found replacements for them and luckily on um, yeah Anthony's website, he had um, pretty much put replacements on there for all these products. So we just went yeah. to Anthony's, you know, page where he talked about the different products and then just started to find new products to replace these old products. And um, Yeah, replaced our dog, dog food too. That's, that was a big one. Yeah, yeah. it's good for our dog to yeah. replace their food too. <laughs> um, Treats for him too, of course. Yeah dog treats yeah because a lot of dog food has a lot of crap in it and even the treats do yep. um so check out what anthony recommends it's a much better option for your pets then there's the environmental toxins that we can't avoid that we come into contact with on a daily basis without even realizing we're coming into contact with these things mm -hmm. and it's best to just protect yourself you can't get rid of this stuff so just protect yourself from it and I'm talking about things like you walk outside and there's those streaks in the sky. Those are heavy metals falling from the sky. And those metals end up in, you know, our lakes, our rivers, our streams, our oceans. And then you go swimming in those things and all of a sudden now you're exposed to them. Right. And we end up getting in contact with plastics, both plastics from in the ocean, but then plastics also that we just drink out of and touch and you know yeah. use for products and right 
And then there's things like exhaust fumes that we're, we're breathing in that has heavy metals in it and other toxic chemicals. You're filling up your gas at the gas station, which we have to do that. You're breathing in more chemicals and more toxic heavy metals. Um, you know, there's our, like the piping that our water is in, like lead pipes and copper pipes. That's bringing in some contamination. And what does Anthony say about pipes? Like, yeah, I recently heard him talk about how, you know, like copper pipes have really affected people's health and made them super ill. Um, and he said that even like PVC, which is plastic, he said that's better than a copper pipe. Interesting. Less contamination to your body. Then there's carpet cleaners. That's a big one. Highly toxic. And then there's, you know, they spray stuff on our clothes, new clothes when you buy new clothes. New clothes are filled with fungicides, so make sure you're washing those at least three times, if not more, um, when you get new clothes before you wear them. Yeah, and, and, yeah, your body will absorb that. And pretty much uh, any clothes you buy is typically they're using genetically modified cotton with those clothes. So it's something to be aware of as well. Yeah, and then there's like lead paint, um, also exhaust fumes from cars. Well, yeah, the, the lead paint is just one building sort of product that contains toxic things, but there's like That's true. drywall, like yeah. drywall that goes in your All house, building products. and you paint over that drywall with lead paint, then you've got your insulation in the wall, which is toxic, so it's like... And then you're putting new flooring down, and that if flooring, it's like carpet, or if it's... And they usually spray vinyl. the carpet. They spray the carpet before the carpet goes down with a perfumey sort of smell, and that's the fungicide. And then mm -hmm. you've got all of the other uh, products like you know your like flo flooring that goes down. In the mercury video we did, we explained that the laminate flooring contains mercury in it, but I'm sure other floors contain also other toxic things. Yeah. So it's really hard to avoid any of these toxins and we live in our house, right? So we're exposing ourselves to these things on a daily basis without even knowing that these are toxic things. Radiation is a big one. Radiation is all around us with the electronics. It's, you know, if you're flying on an airplane, you're getting exposed to it when you're up in the air and then you're also getting exposed to it when you're going through security. And then your luggage that went through that x-ray machine is now f like fuming or like glowing with radiation. And then you're carrying that luggage around with you and it's by your side forever. And maybe you, if you have a kid or a couple kids, they're, you know, they're small. Little, and next and to it. They're next to the luggage. They're now getting exposed to that radiation. Yeah, and then your luggage still holds on to that radiation even when you're storing it at home. So make sure you're cautious of where you're storing that luggage. Like you don't want to store it under your bed where you're sleeping. Yeah, and then there's radiation in cell phones. There's radiation coming from all the EMF waves that we're exposed to. There's radiation falling from the sky from past nuclear fallout. So, I mean, radiation is, is everywhere. And that's one of those big things that Anthony talks about that feeds viruses. So something you want to avoid. But a lot of these things we can't avoid. So once again, we protect ourselves. And smoke exposure is another one that we come into contact. And I'm not just talking about like smoking. We all know that's bad for us. Um, but like a campfire, the campfire smoke is really toxic for us to breathe in. Um, and like wildfires, like I think we all know that that's not safe for us to breathe in and in our air. So just being cautious about that when you're going camping and doing campfires. Yeah, and like we're in California, the the, the toxic smoke is everywhere. Well, it's like, well, what's causing it? Well, you know, those toxic heavy metals that fall from the sky, those chemicals, they get caught in the dew. The dew sits at the bottom of the forest floor. Well, if there's a fire, all those chemicals are gonna light up like that. That's what's causing all these fires is these chemicals falling from the sky. And back to like the smoking thing, like, if you are out there and you're smoking cigarettes, stuff like that, just be aware that 
you know, you're inhaling toxic heavy metals. And if you're, you're smoking cigarettes around people, you're exposing everybody around you to these toxic heavy metals. So if, if you're someone that does that, just be aware of it and, and have some compassion for others. Then there's also other things we come into contact with that also hinder our healing and, and slow down that process. What I'm talking about is like bacteria. You know, bacteria you can pick up anywhere. You use a public restroom, you sit on the toilet, you, you know, you can pick up bacteria that way. Yeah, even if you put a toilet seat down, if the water's not clean and it splashes up, that's how you can or even just like touching a surface that someone um, left their strep bacteria. Yeah, and there's like 50 different varieties of the strep, so 50 different groups of strep. Then there's like staph infections, then there's mold, yeast, fungi, you know, all that stuff gets in our body, and that also hinders our, our healing process. Yeah, because it's going to then lower your immune system and take away from your immune system battling against the Epstein-Barr, whatever you might be dealing with. Yeah, and the radiation promotes mold growth. Yep, it does. Yeah, and then there's other viruses too, right? You yeah. can pick up a different virus or a different strand of EVB. Yeah, and we all have multiple viruses, so it's like, I know I don't just have Epstein-Barr going on, I know I have other things going on too, but I know that the protocols I, I'm on to heal Epstein-Barr are the same protocols if I was healing other viruses or bacteria as well. So as long as I'm eating the way that I'm eating, it's the best way to protect myself against all these things that we come up against. Yeah, I think Anthony, he was just recently saying that like, you know, one of the top places to get to pick something up from would be like a restaurant. Because not only are you coming into contact with other surfaces where there's other people or the, re the restroom, but like the chefs, when they're cooking, they might be cooking, they might be sweating and like a little drop of sweat might go in there or they might cut their finger in a piece of blood or... Or the, they're cooking raw meat, raw meat contains bacteria on it and right. other pathogens it and then it things. touches other things, end up on your salad and now your salad's contaminated with something you didn't even expect in there. Yeah. So... It's not only just giving up these foods that we're talking about here and adding these herbs and supplements into your healing process, but, you know, it's also continuing to eat this way for a lifetime for us. Yeah. I mean, we're not going to change how we're eating no. just because we've healed. Because we know that it's continuing to keep our body strong and to fight all these things that we come into contact with on a daily basis. Even if we're just at home, our home has things that we're breathing in. Um, and it's really important to have compassion for yourself and for your body and your immune system and to know that your body is working for you and you can heal. Yeah. So we hope that this video encourages you if you're dealing with the Epstein-Barr virus or anything else you have going on because the protocols we just laid out and how we healed from Epstein-Barr will pretty much heal any sort of illness out there. So It will protect you. Yeah, so eating this way is going to protect you and heal you no matter what you're dealing with. So we hope you enjoyed this video. We hope it encourages you to, to eat a little differently yeah. and starting to eliminate some of those things that you didn't necessarily know were affecting you, but they are. And let us know if you have any questions. We know this is a lot of information and we're always here and happy to help. So feel free totally. to ask us questions. Yeah. But we will see you guys later. Have a wonderful day and we'll talk soon. See ya. Bye.